Hello everyone, in this video, I will show you some effective solutions to lower your Roblox ping, so let's get started. To begin with, you need to know your exact ping in Roblox. To check your ping, go to the search tab on your desktop, type CMD, click on command prompt. Then, type pingroblox.com and press enter. It will display your ping to Roblox. For example, in my case, I have an average of 30 milliseconds of ping on Roblox. Now, let's move on to the solutions. The first thing you should do is disable any VPN you are using. Playing while connected to a VPN can cause high ping and lag. Press the Windows key plus I to open settings, click on network and internet, and select the VPN option. Now, turn off all the switches. Method 2. The next step is to run the internet troubleshooter. Open settings again and click on update and security, select troubleshoot, and then click on additional troubleshooters. Run the internet connections troubleshooter and see if it detects any issues. If it doesn't find any problems, let's move on to the next method. Method 3. Next, try to clear the DNS cache and reset Winsock. Type command prompt in the search bar and run it as an administrator. Type IP protocol configuration slash flushtons and press enter. Then, type netch winsock reset and press enter. Restart your PC once the commands have finished running. Method 4. The next thing you can do is try changing your DNS. Changing the DNS has solved this problem for many players. Press the Windows key plus R to open run. Type ncpa.cpl and press enter. Right-click on the network adapter you are using for your internet connection and select Properties. Double-click on Internet Protocol version 4. Select, use the following DNS server addresses, at the bottom. First, enter 8.8.8.8 .8 in the preferred DNS server, and 8.8.4.4 .4 in the alternate DNS server, which is Google's public DNS. Now, click OK to save the changes. Method 5. The next thing you should do is make sure that no other application is using the network and hogging bandwidth. This includes any downloads or uploads happening in the background. A simple way to check is through the resource monitor. Type resource monitor in the Windows search bar and select it. Click on the network tab and expand the processes with network activity section. Wait a few seconds for the processes to appear. Here, you can see which process is consuming your internet speed. If it's an unnecessary process, simply right-click on it and select End Process. That's it. I hope this solution worked for you. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you still have any issues or questions, let me know in the comments section, and I'll try to help as much as I can.